Dr. Court, we hear this expression, my baby has a hole in the heart. What's that all about? The most common congenital defect that's diagnosed in childhood is an opening between the lower chambers of the heart. It's called a ventricular septal defect. Ventricles are the pumps. Septum is a wall like the wall in your nose. Defect means hole. And it's a very, very common defect. Most of the time, a baby born with this defect will have no difficulty. The defect will either close, stay small, and not require any intervention. In a small percentage, they do ultimately require medication and surgery. But most of the time, even if it's a lifelong problem, it's something that's checked periodically, and the one restriction is that the child have antibiotic prophylaxis for dental work. It's very common, it makes a noise, but most of the time it's benign. Do these holes need surgery? In a small percentage of children, when I say small, maybe we're talking 10%, where the hole is large, the child may have difficulty in infancy with breathing and feeding, or even if the hole is moderate in size but the heart is enlarged, those children will have surgery. The other thing which needs to be mentioned is sometimes children are born with a hole between the upper chambers of the heart. Those holes are a little bit different. They often do not present when babies are infants. They often do not cause difficulty. However, those holes later in life can be an issue. They are called atrial septal defects, atria being the upper chambers. Interestingly enough, those holes, if not very, very large, can be closed with a device so that many of those children do not have to have heart surgery to close that hole. But there's two different types of holes in the heart. Do these kids need antibiotic prophylaxis when they go to a dentist or a surgery? The lower ones, the ventricular septal defects do. The atrial septal defects are the one congenital heart lesion where it's not required. The reason being, there's no turbulence in the heart when you have a hole between the upper chambers. So these children are, are not at risk of developing endocarditis. The only time we recommend it is right after a device is placed, because you've got a foreign body, you may treat that with antibiotic prophylaxis for possibly six months, but eventually they no longer require antibiotic prophylaxis. Can some of these holes just close by themselves? The upper chamber holes often do. We were always taught years ago that when you have a hole between the upper chambers, that unlike the lower chamber holes, they don't close. But the fact of the matter is, now that we're, we do echocardiograms in infants, we see these holes much earlier. And it turns out many of the upper chamber holes also close spontaneously. Thank you, Dr. LaCourt. Dr. LaCourt, the, the pipes that come out of the heart, sometimes they get narrow. What's that all about? Well, there are two pipes that come out of the heart. There's the artery that goes to the lungs and the artery that goes to the body. Primarily, a common defect is when the valve at the beginning of that artery is small, what we call stenotic. Again, years ago, it would require surgical intervention. Today, very, very often, this would be taken care of with what's called a balloon angioplasty. It's basically like you do for an adult. It's a catheter or tube that's placed in the heart. There's a balloon at the end of it. It's placed at the valve. You open it up, and you can open up that valve. Again, it may prevent surgery in many instances. The, the pulmonary stenosis, or the blockage on the right side, is a much more benign condition. Often will be cured with just the ballooning. The aortic stenosis on the left side may eventually require multiple loonings or surgery. Um, if a child had a tiny pipe connection outside, and maybe not fully developed, some kind of surgeries that have been developed over the years, open heart surgeries, that can fix it. Can you talk about that just a little right. bit? There's a number of different conditions that affect, affect the arteries of the heart. One of them, which is very common, causes the baby to be blue at birth, where the arteries of the heart are reversed. That is, the arteries are coming off the wrong chambers. Today, that can be rectified within the first couple of days of life where the surgeons can go in and actually reverse or switch the arteries back to be normal. The other thing we see is sometimes we see a narrowing of the aorta, which is actually outside the heart, similar to that blood vessel connection that we mentioned earlier. That can often be treated with angioplasty, or often in early infancy it needs surgery. But again, these are all conditions which today are really curable. Thank you, Dr. LaCour. Yeah.